now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, I'm Alex, I'm in red there, and you know, in yellow it's the ramble, that's what we call the program, and it's here until midnight tonight from New York, New York. We go down to Florida, what's the town you're in? Is there is there a town? It's South Florida, it's all the same. In South Florida, out near Mara Logo, Lago, is it near Mara Lago? I can't talk today, is it out there near Mara, 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 Mara I just had a stroke. Mara Lago? Inside of an hour. Hmm? Inside of an hour. Actually, that was a pretty good-looking place. Um, it used yeah, to be owned you by... You want to be trapped in there for the rest of your life? Yeah, yeah. but who, who owned it originally? I'm trying to remember now. Something like the Kellogg's or somebody like that. Could be. But anyway, uh, hello there, Albert Reynoso. Hi, Alex. Yeah, I'm you? having talking problems today. I always think that sometimes when I wake up and I have a talking problem, that I had a stroke in the middle of the night while I was sleeping. I'm sure you would know the difference. Yes, right. When you have that stroke, you'll say, oh, no, it's not a talking problem. And, and this, how will you oh, react if you heard I had a stroke? What would be, let's say I'm now in bed not being able to move my arm or leg or something. What would be how your... How would I react? I mean, what, what, what could I do? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, what, 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 I don't, I don't even know how to react well, to that I mean, question. Would you feel sorry for me? No. Let's see. That's, no. that's Albert, ladies and gentlemen. I'd feel sorry for you if you had a stroke. But why? There's nothing. I say, you do you need do. me to come down to Florida to help you from drooling or something? You know, uh, you know, you, you do what you can do, but that you don't have to feel sorry. I mean, you, you don't want it to happen. Yeah. It happens. Well, I think you and I are both of the same ilk, that we are, are of the same thinking, that we're not big fans of, you know, uh, I'm so sorry for your loss, you know, that kind of thing. N no, I, I'm very much not like that. Very much not like yeah. that. It Life happens, and it happens to everyone, particularly uh, death and illness happens to just about everyone well death happens to everyone illness happens to just about everyone i have so, a guy with a scythe standing behind me right now i don't know if you can see him but he's just sitting there waiting yeah yeah well when he gets you he gets you i mean i'm a I, you know I'm, I'm very afraid of death that's it i know that it goes yeah. without saying i was, sorry, for, I was the, talking for about the dumbest reason what's the dumbest reason because you've told me the reason you're scared about death is because there'll be no more Alex. Well, there'll be no, it's not that there'll be no more Alex. I don't think Alex being here is that important. I am, it bothers me because I'm, I'm worried that uh, I will miss a lot of stuff. You know? But you won't know about but it, so you, you know won't how, miss you know, it. You know how interested over the years I've been in the space program. Yes. And you know, also getting to other planets and so on. And we're on the edge of that, and I will never see it. No, I don't think, I, I really don't think that maybe uh, the next generation, I don't think we'll see it either. I'd be very surprised. Why? I just don't think it's going to happen. I think it's, it's, uh, it's a very risky and very tough thing to do, and I, I don't think it's going to happen. They say Look we can out. do it by 2030. Do they say it can be done by 2030? Then why no, is it taking until 2026 to get back to the moon, which we've already done? Well, uh, we, here's, here's where we screwed up, okay? When we got to the moon, that should have been the beginning of the great exploration, right? But it wasn't. But it wasn't. No. You know, we by now we should be on Mars. It's a nice idea, yeah. On the other hand, the technology that we have today has made all of this easier. I mean, um, uh, SpaceX could never send up a, a rocket and then bring it right back down to Earth and have it land. They do now. They have the, right. you know, 
the uh, what booster or, rockets. So you mean NASA can't couldn't do that? NASA couldn't do that at the time. Right. And, and, and but SpaceX. given given the time has passed, SpaceX had a lot of science that made it easier for them to do and made it easier for them to do more inexpensively than they had done it before. You know. So a lot of that has come into play now. We, going to the moon, if we really wanted to go to the moon tomorrow and, and escalate the whole thing, we could be there by the end of next year. Yes, I think, I think you're not far off in that re regard. The, the problem is that to do that, people have to work together. And humanity is renowned for not working together. Oh, right, right. No, Unle I agree. Unless it involves the government wanting to use the technology for uh, the betterment of their nation against another nation. Well, you know, something, that's when they uh, work together. I, I was watching a, a thing for they shot from out in a, um, one of those rockets or something of the Earth. OK, and I look at it and I go, what a beautiful planet. What a just absolutely of all the planets in the in the in our in our solar system. I have to say it's the most good looking. Wouldn't you? I don't know. I think Saturn's pretty cool. I think uh, uh, Jupiter's pretty nice. It, it's nice, but in a very kind of almost dangerous way. I mean, that's... I think you're sentimental about Earth. No, Earth is just beautiful. It's this big blue marble, you know? It, it's and, it's and, wonderful. And, and Jupiter's a big orange marble. No, it's not. It's not orange. It's got a big dot in the middle and so on. Pretty, pretty orange. You know, Jupiter. Saturn has kind of a nice look to it. Got that thing on the outside, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, um, but you know, if we if we put up enough satellites, like we're doing, you know, like Musk is putting a a thousand satellites circling the globe uh, for the Skynet or whatever he calls the thing. Skynet, that's the that one was that, in, that, that was in Terminator, Terminator. <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, he might as well a, call it Skynet. It's going to be essentially. Yeah, yeah that, well, it's essentially what it is. We're eventually going to have our own rings, just of junk. Okay, they exist now. the The, the planet is uh, is encircled by junk. Yeah. Plus the fact, plus the fact that we're just ruined. But I look down at this planet and I say, all these people are fighting over this. You know, and I don't understand it. They, they should be happy to have this planet to live on with all the vegetation and everything. It's just beautiful. They should just enjoy it. All, but all they're doing is ruining it. Do you think that the weather, the way it's been, every every week there's a different weather story. Every every night there's a different weather story. A hurricane here, a typhoon there, uh, you know, a tornado here, uh, and and uh, that's Earth kind of giving us the big finger and saying, you know, well, the, the big finger has not been given yet. What do you think the big finger is going to be? The big finger is going to be extinction. We are now in the in, in the in the beginnings of an extinction event. You know something? You're Earth. probably right. You're, I, I no, would, no. This is what scientists, if you believe scientists, yeah, if you believe this scientists. is what scientists have said. Yeah, this is the yeah. latest extinction event that has begun. Yeah, it's not just humans; it's many other animals. And you know, in the history, what I what I've read in the history of this planet, ninety percent of the species that have lived on this planet are already extinct. Right. So the, the, there's no reason that humans shouldn't go extinct soon if if the if the uh, if the environment is not cooperating with the way humans live, that the, the humans will go extinct. Well, I think the Earth as a I consider the Earth a sentient being in that I think that it, it works on a different level, but I think right now what it's doing is protecting itself, you know? Well, and, that, that's, that's what it does all the time. Yeah, and, and long after we're gone, this planet's going to still be here. Yeah. And, and the roaches. The roaches always survive. Cats, too, I think. Cats? Mm-hmm. I never heard of cats... Uh, surviving the ice age not the ice age but but the uh, human extinction they will survive that's what i've seen in 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 several scientific uh um things that i've read yeah that cats are likely to survive if humans 
go extinct and ever and everything i think they can't they just sur- the same i way. think they can survive because they have the ability to lick their balls perhaps that's what it is <laughs> i would say no but no and they, never, they i think they're very there. proud of it because they always do it in front of you you know remember the old days when you had a tv set and a it wasn't like a flat screen. It had a top on it. And the yeah, yeah. cat would always sit up there and start cleaning Listen, his balls. We are the only species that doesn't do anything it can do because of uh, uh, social morals and ethics that have been created by us. Yeah. Otherwise, we would be licking our balls the same way. That would be wonderful. But every other animal does whatever it wants, whenever it wants, including shitting wherever it which wants. Which reminds me of that old We're joke. We're the only species that doesn't shit wherever it wants. Which reminds me of that old joke about a guy who's walking down the street with another guy and there's a dog sitting there licking his balls. And uh, the guy says to the other guy, God, I wish I could do that. And he said, well, maybe if you buy him flowers, you can. Hmm. Yeah. Are you going to do the other one? What? What's the other one? The Fantastics? What, what was that? The Aristocrats? That? The Aristocrats, right. No, I'm not going to do the Aristocrats. We'll be here too long. I'd like to hear one day. I'd like to hear your version. Does my speech sound off today? I think maybe you're suffering from a stroke coming on. No, no. Does it sound okay? Yeah, it sounds oh, okay, fine. Okay, because I find I'm having a hard time enunciating. Yeah. Oh. No, no difference. I don't think. Could be my new tooth. I'm telling everybody about my new tooth. Didn't know about it. It's right here. Thanks for letting me know. It was though. missing four. Oh, which one is it? Is it? It's right here. Yeah, it's right there. Is that is that the one you've had out for a long time? Yeah, I had it out for about two months, and he pulled it. Oh, is that it? Because yeah. I know when we worked together, you had some tooth. Oh no, 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 no! Did I, I, I didn't replaced. lose a tooth. Oh, in those you days, put on or something. I only like had that. my first implant maybe ten years ago. I have that's four. Right. I have four implants well. now. I have two thousand. Wait Ten twenty thousand dollars worth of teeth in here. Okay, if you yeah. have to, if you have to monetize it, all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when I'm gone, maybe you can pull them and trade them in for something. I don't know. That's another thing I was thinking. If I die and they bury me, that uh, you come back a hundred years from now, and what's going to remain? My implants. But you're going to be cremated, aren't you? Well, I haven't decided on that one, but Marjorie pretty much hurt. has. Pretty much has, you know. Marjorie is going to get burned up, right? She, yeah, she wants uh, she wants to be cremated. Which which I which I found out lately is not really a good thing for the environment either. Isn't composting the new way? That's the that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Kinda. But they put you in a bunch of. Uh, uh, rotten apple cores or something, you know. And, I guess. And shouldn't they chop you up first? Because it's it it the compost works quicker or decomposes maybe, quicker. Maybe, but they they're composting and then they take the compost stuff and they use it to you know grow plants and things like that. I'm I'm all for that. That sounds good what, to what's me. R- what's or, r- or or, or yeah. soil and green? I always thought was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. May, Hey, it worked for those guys in the Andes when they were trapped. Remember the? the, the I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, why not? You yeah. process it a little bit. Tastes like bologna. I interviewed right? one of those guys once. Did we do it on Sirius XM? What the? Uh, uh, one of the guys, the guys that was in the went Andes. down in the plane in the Andes. Yeah. There's a new movie I saw about that the other day. Do they keep it, make, This is like the fifth movie they've done about it. Yeah. The the. I remember the one with Ethan Hawke. It was pretty good, but this one is is really. My question is, okay, here it is. You're in, you're in a plane. Yeah. You're part of a soccer team. You imagine that, if you will. And it goes it, down. It was and, actually a rugby team, not a. It soccer. goes down in the Andes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and now it's time to figure out how you're going to eat. Mm-hmm. And you've got to eat Bob. Yeah. Okay. Bob, is Bob dead? Bob's dead. You know, just start carving him up before he's gone. Right. But Bob's dead. Yeah. He's doing nobody any good, but there's a good uh, at least 20 course meal there, you know. Right. Um, Would you do it? Absolutely. Okay. If it it means I don't die. Okay. Absolutely. Here I just watched this movie the other day with with Linda and, and, and we discussed it. And I instantly said, yeah, you have to do it. 
You want to live, you have to Well, at that point, if you're really hungry, you probably will. You'd probably say no if you were still not hungry. No, I wouldn't. If it if it means living or dying, you you, you live. Well, this that's is what, what I mean. should do then. I should give myself to, to people who don't have enough food. Soylent Green, I told you, that's the, that's you, the answer. You're right. That's Soylent Green do with wasn't a bad people. idea. No. You process it properly. It tastes good. You know, why not? Yeah. Okay. I don't see a problem with that. Well, I, I asked a guy from the Andes, from one of those soccer players. Right. Rugby. I was talking to him. Was rugby? Okay. Was rugby. I was talking to him. Same thing. Isn't soccer and rugby the same? No, 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 no. Okay. Rugby, you can use your hands and you run with it. Oh, okay. With All right. Masturbation, too. Um, That's true. Uh, uh, I asked, you know, I said to him, you know, so you sent some people out to, you know, find humanity so you can bring them back and have them get your people because they did send a party out. Two guys. Two guys went. Yeah. And they said, the problem was we always went in the wrong direction. Two miles away from where they crashed was a ski lodge. I, Complete I, with food I and everything. Heard that. That's I never what heard no, that. that's what he told me. Really? This is one of the guys that crashed. I'm gonna research that. Yeah. Never heard that. Yeah. Ever. It, because you'd think at the end of the movie they said, and the irony was that two miles away there was a ski lodge. I think one of them actually says that. One of the one of the documentaries or something on it. And said the irony of it is they went in the wrong direction. If they'd gone in the other direction, they would have found the ski lodge. Well, two miles is, I mean, I, I walk seven miles. Two miles? Two yeah, miles? Two, three walk? miles, something like that. It, I don't think very, so. I don't think so. I'm going to bullshit it, on that one. You, you're going to go bullshit on that one? I, I, I talked to, one, not on I talk you. to one of those guys who was like eating Bob, okay? Yeah. I interviewed him, and he said... There was a ski lodge just a couple of miles away. I call bullshit on that ski lodge. <sighs> You're going to call bullshit on a guy who went down in the plane, started eating Bob, then went with his friend out to try and find civilization, and they went. In the, he said they he said they went in the wrong direction, and if they had gone the other direction, they would have come upon a ski lodge about two to three miles away. Cannibal bullshit. He probably liked eating Bob. <laughs> no, no, don't go that way. Go I'm this sorry. way. I'm sorry, by the way, this if, you're, way if you're watching this and your name is Bob, we don't mean to uh, offend well, you or, you know, okay. but thanks for your service. Okay. Thanks, but, uh, that, you know, that, the reason I think they keep going back to making movies about that story is because really, if you think about it, uh, uh, it's it's just an interesting supposition of humanity. Like, what would you do if, you know? I have to say, after seeing this latest version, I don't even think, and and, and the Ethan Hawke movie, I thought about the cannibalism a lot. But this latest movie, the cannibalism is the least of the things to worry about. They They had to endure so much stuff in the two plus months they were there. You know, that the cannibalism is the least to me of the problems. They had to stay in this little piece of the fuselage. Then, then came avalanche after avalanche, covering them and killing more people. That that alone, forget about the cannibalism. Well, they cannibal. just gone down to the uh, lodge. I could have gone to the lodge, yeah. Why didn't they do that? Estupido. Yeah. So at the end, they were, fi they were discovered, right? Or they were... No, at the end... Three of them decided to take a walk and they looked out over w one of the peaks and they said, this is going to be a long walk. So they said, one, one, of, one of us is going to go back, give us your food and the two, the two remaining will continue to go. And they made it mile after mile after mile. They made it into a valley and finally found some guy on a horseback and said, we're two of the guys from that plane. And, and they finally got him. They finally. So how many um, survived? I think it was about 18 or, or so. Oh, okay. And how many were in the plane? About 40, maybe. Yeah. Something like that. Wow. Oh. So they had yeah. a lot of food. Potentially, yeah, I guess. Yeah, they could have lasted there quite a long time. They did last quite a long time. Two two months in that in that environment, that's a long time. Didn't they cut the, the bodies up in strips? 
I don't know how they cut them up. Made him kind of. They asked your guy who said there was a ski lodge two miles back. This guy was one of the guys who went down in the plane. And there's no ski lodge. No. Uh. -uh. You don't think so? (laughs) No, I don't. I don't buy that one. Mm -mm. Would you buy a Walmart? Costco, maybe. Costco, maybe. Costco, yeah. They had a Costco. (laughs) They have a Costco two miles back. Yeah. Do you have any people jerky here? Fresh meat there. (laughs) Huh? Do you have any people jerky here? Yeah, right. At Costco. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. So you have one of those ring lights, do you? I have two of the ring lights. You have two ring lights. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't you only just need one? Well, you know, I, I'm from a television background. You have to have the key light and then the fill light, and you can see my sunlight back here is my backlight. So. I have all the... See, I have two lights here. Television. I have two lights here. Let me break the magic. I have two lights. If I turn one of them off, yeah. see what happens. Yeah. And I have another one on the other side. Okay, like that. The only problem that I have is that it, it's daytime here and sun is coming through the window. And mm-hmm. so I have to like set the, 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 the U of my face to be perfect because white balancing, it doesn't work. Well, you can also tell that uh, that the background is not authentic because the light is hitting you on the side of your face, whereas the light from the background is coming from the back of the windows. Well, maybe you can't see the back, the back of my head. head. Yeah. If you but see the you back see, of my head. But you would see something coming across the top. if that. Oh, worked. I see. Okay, well, I can do that. Wait a minute. Echo, <laughs> turn on office. Now, do I have a little more light? Eh, a little bit, but... Uh, You're our lighting director on this show. It's just perspective. It's a matter of perspective. Why did you get the ring lights? I have two two panel lights here. What's it? No, I got I got them cheap when I was at Ikea one day. They were like five bucks each. So what, I ring could... lights? Yeah. For yeah. video? For video, what what is video? Video is a is Wait, but your what camera. are they what what are they selling TV lights at IKEA they're not for? TV, they're they're lights for when people do uh you know when you go on Facebook Live or something. I mean, like the that. only reason that I ask is, is because I can see the reflection in your in your glasses. Yes, yeah. yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah there, there it is. See people, you see you saw it right there. there. Yeah, yeah. And I have one one oh. I have two. Yeah, but that's one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, the, there's the two of them. Can you see them? You see them? Yeah, now? yeah. There's two of them. One and two. All right, enough, enough, enough of you. You asked. I guess I saw them in your glasses, and I thought I would just make a comment about it. Get off my case. All right, and then if you look back there, two miles, there's a ski lodge. Well, you know why I have my daytime background here, is because you're having a daytime background there, and it would look unusual if I had the nighttime background here. Could be in a different time zone. Yeah. This is not a daytime background. This is daytime. This is real. Really? Yes. What does that look like? I haven't been out in, God, I haven't been out in a long time. It's been so freezing here. Mm. And and last night, about 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, they weren't sending up any heat. And wow. I was literally freezing, and I had this great fear of all these stories I've heard about old people who were found dead in their house because there wasn't enough heat, and they froze to death. I felt like I was on the edge of freezing to death. That's how bad it was in here. And the if temperature that happens, was, we're going to cut you up and eat you. The temperature was down around 20. Right now it's 24. Wow. In New York, 20 degrees? 24. You have uh, snow on the ground too, right? Nah. No, huh? It, it had already melted. We haven't had, you know, we really haven't had a good snowstorm in this city in over three years. And, and you didn't have a lot of snow the other day? I thought I read no, that there was. No, no, no. I mean, that was a minor snowstorm. I mean, there, there's still snow on the ground some places, mm-hmm. like in the shade or whatever. You know how it disappears. Yeah, yeah. Dirty rocks. Yeah, well, I, snow is wonderful. When you have a snowstorm and all of a sudden you go out after it and all the snow is white and glistening and there's a soundproofing 
that it has, you know? Oh, yeah, right. It's it kind of quiet. deadening of this. Oh, it's wonderful. And then the next day, people start walking on it, and cars start driving on it, and the, and the slush becomes gray Lushy, snow. Messy, noisy mess, yeah. One of the best jokes I ever heard was uh, Dick Cavett, who said, you know, uh, it, it's winter in New York, and kids are making snowmen and using marshmallows for the eyeballs. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time here, pal. Are we already? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's, time flies when you're having fun. Let's get together and do this again, okay? Yes, we will. I'm going to check the uh, two the two mile ski lodge report. Okay. That your buddy Ladies told you. Ladies and gentlemen, about. that's Albert Reynoso. See ya. Now in its ninth year, this is Gabnet. The Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Thank you very much, Albert. Very nice to uh, have you uh, with us. And uh, he will be with us again uh, in a couple of weeks, I guess. Uh, uh, I figure out when I play these things. I make I record these things all at once. So, you know, this is different. Well, this is Thursday night. And traditionally on Thursday night, we have no particular listeners. I mean, people calling. Nobody calls on Thursday nights. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking about giving up Thursday nights because it's kind of it's kind of humiliating. Okay, if I if I if I were to say it, uh, it's humiliating. Anyway, so if you want to, you can start calling us. We have one caller waiting. He's a quality caller. He is the only uh, um, rocket scientist we have on this program. And uh, let me just uh, bring him in, uh, you know, and uh, we'll see what uh, what happens here. Let me see here. If I go there, do that. There's Charlie Wallace. Um, hello, Charlie. Well, first we got to. Oh, there we go. Hello, Charlie. Yeah. Hi, you, you and me. Just you and me. Yeah, just you and me. See, I mean, what what is with Thursday nights? I have no idea. I, can, I don't get it either. I mean, I wish I knew what it was, and I would do something to prevent it from happening, you know. But uh, apparently Thursday nights, nobody wants to call the program. So, well, here comes Kevin. We're getting some people. It yeah. just took a minute. Huh? Two people with a be with beards. That's, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, you got one, too. Huh? Yeah, I got one, too. The only one. Well, actually, uh, Charlie has a mustache. Yeah. Have a mustache. Yeah. So. Beards, in fact, big beards like yours and, and Kevin's are very, very popular these days. And I think it all started with David Letterman. You might be right. Yeah, well, I had mine before David did. It, well, yeah, but then again, <laughs> that was your professional beard. <laughs> a professional beard would be a date for a gay guy <laughs> <laughs> who charges. You know, um, because the guy wants to say to his parents, I'm not gay. You know, so. Anyway, what does that say on your hat there, Alan? Oh, you have the right to remain silent. Oh, okay. I've come up with a whole new idea. Tell me if this is a good idea or not. I've started a new kind of thing I want to get going on the, uh, on the Internet, okay, to basically... Uh, well, let me explain it to you. Uh, just kind of start kind of a meme going. And my meme is, for instance, I put up a picture of Donald Trump with, say, uh, who was the guy who uh, committed suicide and had an island? Jeffrey and Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, a picture of, like, Trump with Epstein. And then underneath it, something that says, vote Trump, question mark. I think that'd be not a bad idea, is it? No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think I think a meme like Trump and Putin, where Trump's nose is up uh, Putin's rear. Yeah. Okay. A little grosser than what I had uh, envisioned here. Yeah. Well, just him cowering at Helsinki in, in 2018. I mean, that was bad enough. What was this? What was this in Helsinki? When he was when uh, there with Putin, and when he kicked all the 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 uh, the, uh, the 
people that were supposed to take notes, he kicked them all out of the meeting so he could just meet with Putin. And then he came in and he was all coward like this and Putin was all smiling and happy. And <laughs> <laughs> you can tell who was his... the alpha there. Isn't that the day he got the soccer ball? <laughs> hey, something like that. Yeah. Now, what, yeah. what does that say on your shirt? Philosoraptor? Yeah, it's a, it's a Philosoraptor. <laughs> As like in Philosopher. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's, he's got the uh, finger thinking. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a different one for you. It's nothing scientific that we have to figure out, yeah. you know, nothing like that. That's pretty much the logo for Jurassic Park, my favorite movie. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it your favorite movie? Dinosaurs. Well, I love is. dinosaurs. Yeah. I have my whole I thought, life. I thought maybe it was because a lawyer gets eaten first. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. Well, you see, I look upon, uh, I, I don't, I don't look upon Jurassic Park as one of my favorite films, but it's certainly a film I found entirely enjoyable. Yep. You know, um, I don't know what uh, do you have a favorite film, Alan? Uh, end of Watch. What? End of Watch. What's that? End of came Watch. Out, came out in 2012. It's about uh, a couple LAPD cops that ride in the same car that are patrol officers, and oh. they go to different calls and they banter in the car amongst each other like real cops do joke around and everything like that and uh in in the police business end to watch is usually the meaning when a cop has been killed mm -hmm. i don't want to ruin the movie for you but one of them gets killed at the end of the movie so. yeah yeah uh how about you but, uh, how many uh, how about you uh, uh uh kevin favorite movie you have a favorite movie see i can't name yeah. a favorite movie i can't either i thought i thought alan's been I thought Allen's would be Training Day. <laughs> <laughs> That's another good movie, actually. It's stupid, but it's good. I yeah. like it. But it was based on a true story, right? I I, I don't know. I, yeah, it was based That's on what a, they right? said. That's yeah. what they said. You know? Yeah, I guess. It's a great movie. Yeah, I, I never. Denzel people, Washington overdid it a little bit. People always say to me, like, you know, what's your favorite movie? And I go, of what? You know? What kind of movie? What subject matter? Yeah. What subject matter? You know, I mean, you can't have a favorite movie. You can have favorite movies. I could probably list the top ten of my life. Go ahead. You know, but I'm not going to do it here because I... I like uh, Boulevard Nights. Boulevard Nights. Boy, you guys are picking up on pictures. Michelle Pfeiffer when she was young. And then it had a bunch of cars. And there's that Tubby's. Tubby's Diner was closing down. So they had a lot of cars, hot rods, and stuff like that. So that's a great movie. Wow, these are films I never heard of. Yeah. If I come over, they will you watch it with me? Sure, <laughs> sure. Okay. No, I, I don't mind bonding with you. You know, <laughs> in a manly way. You know. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta, Does I gotta go. The, one of you has to bring the manscape machine. Where's he going? Let's see. To get his man, he's man going to get the movie for you. He's going to go get the movie for me? We can't play it here. Watch well, I bet he has a copy of it, and he wants to show us the copy of it. Yeah, I got, I got Jurassic Park. In fact, I have all the Jurassic Park movies. Well, you know, so I, I, as, I, as I said uh, the other night, or last night, I watched this movie called... Uh, um, uh, Cinema Paradiso, uh, which I had never seen, but I had heard about. And I watched it, and I was thoroughly uh, enthralled with it. What was it about? Cinema Paradiso. That helped a lot. I have no idea what that is. No, it's, it's a uh, in Sicily, it's in a small town, and this guy runs a movie theater. Oh, and this okay. little kid comes uh, is in tr tranced with the movies and comes up to the projection booth and learns how to run the projector. And it's just this whole love affair with movies, and then it yep. turns into a love affair with a woman, and then it turns into later in life and everything having to resolve itself. 
It's a beautiful film. Mm. And I said the music was done by Ennio Morricone, who I think could play music to me taking a piss, and it, you would start crying, Probably. you know, because that's how his music is. He's, he's really good. He's but really good. you want to talk about one of my favorite movies of all time? I sure. would imagine I would have to say Once Upon a Time in America, which Ennio Marconi did the music for. It's another good movie. Yeah, it's a yeah. great film. I never saw a movie about Jewish gangsters <laughs> until Sergio Leone, an Italian, had to make it, you know? Well, you know, uh, they, 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 they were... You know, they were the they were the money and the mob was the muscle, I guess. No, I mean, they, they were some just absolute out and out gangsters uh who were Jewish. Bugsy Siegel. Oh yeah, he he yeah. He, he, started, he, he started he started he started along with a few other people, Murder Incorporated. He, he wasn't does. like a money guy for the mob. He was a oh, cold blooded killer. Ed. Well, what? Albert Anastasia was Italian, but uh, yeah. Anyhow, uh, well, what's his name? The guy that was the the uh, the the banker for the mob. Oh, well, what's his name? Yeah, I know who you're. He was about. Jewish too. Yeah, of course. Uh, and there was Jeffrey Stein. He, he, was, <laughs> he was he was the brains for the mob. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, what was it? Was wait a minute. I'm, it, God, my mind is just gone. You know. Uh, but I know who you're talking about when you're talking about the Jewish gangster. He lived in Miami, and the char one of the characters in The Godfather was based on him, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, he lived in a lot of places. I he, know. Was, he, he was friends with uh, Lucky Luciano. They were, like, really good partners. And, and Meyer Lansky. Meyer Lansky, was, right. Okay. Yeah. I, can't, I can't remember names anymore. I'm terrible. You know, I can't remember how anything is done or who did it or when. You know. Hi, Jeff. Hey. How are you doing tonight? Wow. Good. Into later in life and everything having to resolve itself. It's a beautiful film. Wait a minute. And I said the music <laughs> that is isn't, done. That isn't <laughs> Jeff, is it? I think could play music to me taking a piss and I start crying. Jeff? Because yeah. I miss that. How his music is. He's, he's really good. He's but really good. you want to talk about one of my yeah, favorite who, movies. Who's doing that? Who? I would imagine I would have to say Once Upon a Time in America. Jeff. Jeff. Who do you think? Jeff. Another good movie. Yes. Yeah. Do you have... Great. I, I, I never saw a movie about Jewish gangsters. You have your browser open. Well, Sergio Leone. Oh, boy. Well, I muted him. Oh. Hmm? I don't know. No, what he's is, good. Jeff, yeah, talk. He got it. Yeah, you got it. He got it? Okay. Yeah, he got it. Are you there, Jeff? Oh, okay, good. He, yeah. can, he got it. He, I think he got it. <clears throat> That's in a row. George, I think he's got it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so anyway, uh, I, uh, um, God, I'm just getting so fed up with stuff. And what I'm getting fed up with, can't this whole world just get along? Yeah, you know, the other night I was watching a little documentary on, you know, some of our guys who float around space and taking shots of the uh, Earth. Mm -hmm. And I looked down at that beautiful blue marble and say, you know, of all the planets we've got, I mean, there are planets that are magnificent like Jupiter and there's some that are odd and unusual like Saturn. But when you want to talk about a planet with pure beauty, there's no more beautiful planet in this solar system. Would you agree, Charlie? You're the uh, scientist. <laughs> oh, don't get me in the middle of this. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's as difficult as figuring out what your favorite movie is. You know? <laughs> but, I've always been enthralled with Saturn myself. But, well, yeah, but because it has, a, beautiful it, planet. it has a circle around it and all of that, the rings, you know. And a nice it, porch. Huh? It has a nice port. You know, we're coming close to having a ring around our planet, but it's all satellites that are dead. Yeah. We yeah. have more space junk up there, you know. I don't know. You know, like Uranus would be an interesting planet. <laughs> Did I say that right? I knew you would bring up something like that because Uranus makes you made you laugh as a kid, 
because it sounded dirty. You know. Yeah. And I uh, didn't. I didn't like what they did to Pluto. No, nope. no, it's still a planet in my book. I think yeah. that. So the, uh, you would agree, wouldn't you, Charlie? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't part of that deal where they stripped it of its planethood. It wasn't. What's his name? The guy over at the uh, museum. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil yep. deGrasse Tyson, isn't he the guy that was in charge of uh, de promote or? Uh, I don't think he was in. He wasn't in charge, but he was the one that promoted it. He's the one that brought it up to the International Astronomical Union. Or whatever. Well, why did they do it, though? What was their reasoning? Because it's so small. Well, so what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that makes it cute, doesn't it? Yeah, I agree. I guess. That makes it lovable. <clears throat> But uh, and they've, I think they haven't they found since they did that that uh, pictures have been coming back and there may be more to Pluto than they ever imagined. Um, well, yeah, I mean, they found a lot when the what is it, the New Horizon or whatever it was, the one that went all the way out there and photographed it. Yeah, yeah, and that it, it had that big heart in the snow there. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, it wasn't really snow. It was I frozen. Mean, come on. Why don't we start a movement to reinstill, reinstall Pluto yeah. as a planet in our solar yeah, system? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I mean, what do they think? It, they said it's just a big icy rock. And there's more yeah, to Yeah, well, the main thing is it's actually smaller than the moon. So they, they just said they couldn't believe, they couldn't call something smaller than the moon a planet. So. Oh, really? Yeah. That's why stupid. don't we call the moon a planet? Why? Because it doesn't circle around the sun, it circles around the Earth, and therefore that makes it a satellite. Pluto, on the other hand... Pluto circles around the sun. Exactly. So it should be considered a planet. Yep. You know. Yep. Either that or a huge asteroid. I don't know. No, you're you're, you're preaching to the choir here. I mean, I'm with you all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And why don't they call hemorrhoids asteroids? (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I never could figure that one out. Uh, hemorrhoids bleed and asteroids vote. No, I don't know. What? I don't know. Was that an attempt at some form of humor that I'm not quite aware of? Uh, everything is. Everything I say is humorous. <sighs> so I uh, hear some humor. I mean, I went for a physical the, uh, the other day. I got all my test results, and my PSA is 0.5. Wow. <sighs> Wow, that's good. I would, I would have had that PSA. <laughs> yeah, really. You a know, lot of people, you know, what mine is, and I don't want to have to brag. I mine's like zero. It's a hundred eighty. It's, it's a hundred and eighty. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> imagine that's your weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's hundred and eighty. Yeah. No, actually, you know, my PSA is. I'm going. In fact, I'm going in on uh, Monday for my yearly urology oh. visit. I just saw him. Yeah, and my PSA last time was <laughs> undetectable. Yeah, that's what he told me too. I said, Are you lying? Are you shut up. You're going to wake the day. You're going to wake the whole house up. Who are you talking to? Imaginary people? What? No, pebbles, pebbles. I got problems pebbles, with my dad. Pluto, whatever, you know. You just... Pebbles, search, go inside. Let me get my feet. Oh, go, go. Let, let's see. The, they hired a friend of Wilma for me. What? No. He's talking to Pebbles. I just told him to say hi to Fred and Wilma for me. No, that, he, that's why, why do you think he named him Pebbles? You know, it was either that or Fruity no Pebbles. No comic called yeah. Pebbles, so he's into the comic stuff. So, yeah. I'm surprised he didn't name the dog Scooby Doo. Hi, oh, yeah. how you doing? Yeah, when he did it, I got no. I had I had a slight issue with uh, my tenants upstairs, the new ones. Oh, what is well, it? Well, it's not really a problem, but they they message me. Hold, they're holding satanic rituals up there or something. <laughs> no, they're probably contacting my mother. Probably start yelling. Don't change the wallpaper. No, you know what happened? I got a text message. So they says, Tony, can you come upstairs? I I want to ask you something. Wait a minute. Let me let me wait a minute. Let me get this. They text yeah. you when they could have yeah, just text- yelled downstairs. I know. I don't. They they like the text. So I says, oh. I had my phone. I was downstairs scanning comics. I says, oh, mm-hmm. thought it was my brother. I says, okay, I'll come up in a minute. So I go upstairs. Yeah. And I knock on the door. And she goes, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, 
I said, oh, shit, don't tell me. Shut up, wait, don't tell me you're moving already. She goes, <laughs> no. She goes, would you mind if we get a little dog? So I said, well, I have to run up by my brother. I said, you have to decide. It's like a Shih Tzu, like one of those small dogs, Alex. Like a little. So we like, already yes, have it. Is. And I was like, my brother's like, why, why do they I call them, them Shih Tzus? Like, why don't they call them hemorrhoids? Anyway, <laughs> those miniature dogs. You show me a picture, I can show it to you. So I call my brother at work. And he says, what do you want? He was in a meeting line with the city. He says, can they get a dog? He says, this is why you call me. He says, send me a picture of what it looks like. I said, I'll let him get it. So I went upstairs again. Just can we get it? I says, yeah, all right, you can get it. I says, so they were all happy. They're getting him February 3rd from Pennsylvania. Now do this. This is real fun. Teach yeah. Pebbles how to kill him. <laughs> I like the laugh. This one is like, Alex, I, she's so spy to how big, but this one's afraid of her own shack. I brought Kansas over it, and then she runs in the house from me because he's so big. Pebbles. Oh, Tony? Yeah. Tony? Tony? I'm going to give her a quantity. Come on, She's so much cuter than you. It's just is. such a homey show today. Jeez, yeah. almighty. Yeah. And, wh and what happened to uh, what happened to uh, Brian? Brian. Uh, he came he went in. Downstairs from he out of the arm. What? He went downstairs. He, he came up and he was eating something while you were talking. Oh, I just had, didn't even remember him coming yeah. back. He's still looking yeah. for a movie. Hey, Tony, do you have a deposit from the people upstairs for damage? Yeah, they actually give me, they gave me a, shut up. They can, she's going to wake the whole house up. They're going to, they pay the rent like so early. I, um, they give it to me a no, week not, before. Not the rent. The, the, you know, when somebody moves in, they usually give you a deposit. So yeah, they gotta, we got a deposit. As, as a property owner, I get more money for the deposit if they have an animal. Really? No, well, like, because animal because, is, because, yeah, because, because yeah, proper yeah. because because uh, security deposits are dependent upon right. potential oh, damage. Really? I didn't know and that. the yeah. dog might cause damage, but that's right. Also, yeah. if you uh, let me ask you a question, you got a security deposit, right? Yeah. What did you yeah. do with that security deposit? My brother put it in the bank. Yeah. Very good. In a yeah. in a interest bearing account. Yeah, he has a separate account set up. Very good. That's exactly yeah. what you're supposed to do. No, Shecky told me that when we were going to rent it. He says, if you do that, he says, set, set up a separate account and everything. Yeah. So you know it's all there just in case and stuff like that. So that's what we did, really. Yeah, well, that's really legally what you have to do by law, but which the guy who rented us this apartment didn't do. Yeah. And yeah, now we're having to sue that. him for the depo security deposit yeah, back. More lawyers. It's wonderful, you know. But no, if you if you rent a house or an apartment or anything to somebody and you take a security deposit, you have to put it in a separate interest bearing account by law. Trust or fiduciary, I think is the term. Whatever, anything that gains uh, interest. And then when you finally they leave and you pay them back their security deposit, you know, because it's the place. It's got to be a little more secure than that because if you die. You don't want it to, you know, you're, you don't want your heirs to suck it up and say it's partly your, your estate. Well, you just tell them where it is, mm. you know. And he, then you say the old thing about, in case I die. Yeah, the property managers I use, I have them use a bank that I don't use, so there's no... Well, the property you know, managers handle it for you. Yeah. Mm. yeah so. so I own I own more than an upstairs. I mean, I have a roof upstairs, I, but... You know, I, I have a, a lot of different tenants in three different states and property yeah. managers. How many different right. properties do you yeah. have? He's got, He's got a bed and breakfast. Yeah, well, I, I own some condos in Fremont, and then the house I'm in. And I own an apartment building for seniors in Tucson. And then I own, oh, that, that's, that's small. It's like 15, 16 units. You're that, that's, you're, that's you're that, you're that wealthy? It, well, and then I've never I, been well, married. Why haven't I been nicer to you? <laughs> yeah, really, I know. No kids. No kids. I'm married. You know, I and, and, and I don't drive right? a fancy car. And I don't wear fancy clothes. He's smart. He drives a, a U-Haul van. Uh, it's that's never it. been a U-Haul. I bought it new, Brian. It's obvious, you, oh, it's it. obvious you eat a lot of food, and that's getting very expensive these days. <laughs> you know. But are you it's really great. all that all that all those uh, properties? I own yeah. I own um, with two other partners uh, uh, that I've known for a long time. Uh, I think it's the rather 180 or 200 units in Portland, Oregon, right outside Portland, Oregon. Yeah. 
an apartment <laughs> building, and then a and then a condo because they got rid of some of my property in Portland. Yeah, but can't that can't that place with two hundred apartments in it be a headache? Because you, every time something breaks down, you this gotta, is why you got a property manager and an on-site manager. You bet. The one I don't, like don't want to hear in the middle of the night that the toilet in 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 <laughs> number one twenty is overflowing. What the f can I do? I'm in California. How do you manage that? Do you have somebody overlooking with a property manager, Tony? Yeah. Are you a nice? <laughs> Uh, yeah, landlord, I'm a slave driver. <laughs> I'll be sleeping on the like, job. Nice I remember landlord. Ralph Cramden when he was the guy, Alex, in the, the new home building. <laughs> because here in New York, you know, we have a reputation for having the worst landlords in America. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm good. You know, they, I, I inherited the property in Tucson, and the, I went back there and visited. It was at my uncle's. It was like 20 years, 22 years ago. And it was all seniors, and they were all nervous that the rent was going to oh, go up. Check the, them out. the property that you know they're they're out there doing the mowing of the lawn and trimming and uh, and painting and changing light bulbs. And I say, if you guys handle all the minor crap, anything major, I'll take care of. If you handle all the minor stuff, I'll leave it where it's at. And you know, I've never raised it. Oh, that's nice. It has no it. mortgage to it. I pay taxes and... He just doesn't turn the heat on. <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> they, they, yeah, right. That's right. And no, he, it, heat is not as Bundle big up. a deal. It's be cold. You, you know, in Tucson, heat's not as big a deal as air conditioning. Too, yeah. Right? Yeah, but they, they, they pay for their own power bill and the, all, all the units are air conditioned. It's a small complex. And I mean, you know, have a heart. They're seniors. They're on a real limited income. That's right. I'm on an unlimited Gee, income. it sounds like he's minor. talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking about seniors in general, not about you. Well, no, but I'm on a fixed income. Now, that's for sure. You you got tons of money. No, I don't. You got this, you got this go fuck me money coming in. Yeah. Well, if it ever gets here, if it ever gets oh. through uh, uh, probate, you know. Yeah, so yeah, somebody, you know, you know, part of the problem with not having kids is who do I leave my money? I, mean, I, have a, I have a trust, but who do I leave my money to? And so I can't, I, yeah, I, well, I can't spell your last name right. What about right, Phil? So. And, <laughs> and Schwarzman is not easy. So, I mean, you know, I got to figure out who to leave my money to. Wallace. I, yeah, Wallace, Wallace is pretty, pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, Wallace. Yeah, why not? You know? Hey, yeah, Charlie Wallace could use a little few bucks. You know, yeah. I, I, you know, maybe maybe Gabnet could use some too, and that way they can get some professional quality cameras. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. That was a, that was a, that was a low what's blow. What's wrong? I I went back to one of my other cameras, and this one's really good looking. It it is good looking, actually. Yeah. You know, you you we haven't heard you complain more than once or twice in the past week about your cameras. So. Well, I I finally got the camera problems fixed, but then I got to the, back to this other camera. And it wasn't running smoothly for a while, but now it is, and it just looks great, you know. And I have a 4K was the other camera, and it doesn't look as good, you know. So mm. I can't figure it out. 1080p is the way. I, Charlie and I both have the same yeah. camera. Well, this is 1080p. Yeah. 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 We don't. Most people, I got to tell you, most people can't tell the difference between 1080p and uh, 4K. You know. I can't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And all your cameras look good. Yeah. Tell you what I did the other day. This is strange. That Monday program we do, you know. Yeah, you were from Monday. Hey, you problems? Mm -hmm. Well, I had problems the other day because oh. uh, our uh, our internet went down. And it was, was down speaking. for almost 24 hours. That's a long time. To yeah, it's a long time. Usually, I, I've had it go down and I wait 10 minutes and it's back up again, you know. This was down for... Uh, t almost 24 hours. And uh, so when I did the show on Monday, I didn't know what to do exactly. So I um, decided that I would record, would do the show because everybody called up. And then I would record it and I could record it. Uh, well, wait a minute. We weren't, how did I do it if we were, if our internet was down? Did yeah. you you state you saved it you recorded the Zoom meeting and then you transferred that over to YouTube? No, but I recorded it. I recorded it to Zoom. Right. Uh, and then did Andrew than, help you? Rather than a local 
uh, right. uh, thing. Right. But why? How could I have recorded it to Zoom if I didn't have any uh, any internet? Because <clears throat> you were on the cellular through your iPad. Zoom. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, You're that right. was so it. I, I was using, the... uh, okay. I was using the cellular. I was using the iPad. That mm. was it. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. I forget these things. And then, um, so I, I then recorded the show onto the Zoom cloud account, okay? Mm -hmm. And then when I was got my stuff back here, my internet back, I downloaded it and put it up as the show. Well, what happened was, I didn't know this. When you record, if I were to record this right now, uh, I, I, I do record it every night to... Uh, 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 internally here, but if I just did it on this machine and sent it up there, what comes down isn't the picture you're seeing right now. Huh. If you go back and watch the show on Monday, mm -hmm. everybody, when they started talking, their camera would go on. In other words, it looked like a TV show, and sometimes it would even go to somebody else <laughs> while somebody was talking. It looked like you were shooting a TV show. Uh, yeah, then I made a noise, and then all of a sudden the camera showed me because I look, I played it back. I asked yeah, for... but how did you think it looked? Did you like it that way? No. 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 Okay. Because it, right when like Jeff just said no, and then it flashed to him just, and he's not really saying anything while you're talking. It's sort of weird. Yeah, okay, so you don't like it. So a couple people wrote and said they loved it. You know, they thought it was terrific. Do they call in? No. no. So they have no voice then. They have no voice. <laughs> you prefer to see all the people Where in the, the same... Or the talent, way. okay? The talent doesn't like it. <laughs> I see. Okay, well, I could be recording it right now onto uh, the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Onto uh, uh, YouTube, on Zoom. And yeah. the recording would be anytime I was talking, you'd see me, and then when Charles... well, you can set it to do that right now if you want in preferences. Yeah, I, yeah, I can set it to do that. Yeah, you could you go up to preferences and set it to yeah. to the active active talker or whatever it is active speaker. Oh, really? Yeah, and oh, it okay. will jump back and forth to whoever speaks. Oh, that's annoying though, isn't it? Not yeah, no. it can it, be. It, you're used to seeing it on TV shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same yeah. thing. Yeah. No different, you know. But uh, anyway, so uh, uh, our boy uh, Trump is w in court today oh, uh, again with the E. Jean Carroll case. And he testified for about a minute and a half or something like that before uh, the judge said, uh-uh, can't say that, can't say this, can't say <laughs> that, can't say this. And then he just got testy and played baby. And yeah. uh, it was uh, supposedly quite a, a, a comedy act to watch and to see. Plays baby. He plays baby every day that he's awake. Well, no, but I don't, we, I don't understand what he thinks he's accomplishing. Outside of it, I think he thinks he's playing to his base and they're going to love how brave he is going up against the judge in court. Well, you, you know, the, the, the attorneys are stupid to let him talk. Yeah. Well, he's, he's a, he, he damages yeah. himself in public life, in private life, and when he's being sued. I mean, I, you no, know, but, I, I, but don't you understand, Alan, that they can't tell him anything? No, well, he that, won't that's listen. Obvious. He won't listen. You know, I mean, any number of times the judge in the other case kept saying to the to the lawyers, "Will you please contain your client?" Oh yeah. You know. He thinks he's making a big show of it, but here's here's where he's really been stupid. He claims he's not just worth a couple of million dollars, but that he's worth billions. Yep. All right, okay. And he's stated that on any number of occasions. Well, they're entering that into this case as proof of how much money he probably has. So when they award his money, the the damages going to be much higher than it would have been if he had told him exactly how much he was really worth. See, I'll never admit what I, what I, what I, that, that I, um, if I was a billionaire and I'm not, you know, um, because in my case, I own property and I'm, and I'm debt heavy because I don't own the property outright. The banks own it. We pay payments just like anybody else. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and hopefully the, the uh, renters pay more and you get, 
some money each month, but you know, I, I you know, well, all I'm saying, although the point I'm trying to make is, is that in this case they're going to award damages to E. Jean Carroll, and it's going to be based somewhat on what Trump is worth. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Oh, okay, I see what you're okay, saying. Okay, you get what I'm saying. In other words, yeah. damages usually they will look at that, and what they've said is, well, this guy claims he's worth billions, so I guess a hundred million, two hundred million won't. It won't be too much to ask of him. No, it'd be pocket change for a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so, you know, and these are punitive damages, okay? Mm -hmm. So yeah. when they're punitive damages, you're doing it to punish the person who did what they did. Absolutely. If you punished me, if you charged me um, $100,000... That would be quite punitive towards me. I mean, I don't yeah, want to give up. Very quite, quite punitive to me, too. Yeah, exactly. But to mm -hmm. Trump, 100000 isn't punitive. So what he's done by lying is he's mitigated his, his, the award that may be given in this particular situation. So um, what a dummy. What a dummy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, I, I just I, I don't understand... The Trump people. I don't understand them at all. And I don't understand them on this level. This guy makes a complete fool out of himself all the time. Yeah. And they're voting for him? Yeah. I mean, they're as stupid as he is. Well, I'm saying they're stupider than he is. Yeah, well, maybe. You know, I mean, who's stupid? The people who, uh, who's stupid or the people who follow him? I mean, and and the know. people that are sending him money. If he's a billionaire, why does he need money? That's yeah. the other part I don't get. Yeah. Hey, you want to yeah. run for president? Use your own billions, okay? All yeah, he needs is a couple of hundred million, and he doesn't right. have to ask anybody for money and That's run right. for president. Uh, but I just don't understand why they don't have a better attitude about this man and and who he is exactly i you know i could see if they wanted to go for you know who, who who's the guy in texas your senator down there ted yeah. cruz ted cruz if they wanted to go for ted cruz okay you know uh, he's an idiot too but uh, this guy's proved himself to be a real idiot and when i see these republicans when they're being interviewed on television which by the way they're never challenged by the people interviewing them they go well, you know, I'm voting for Trump because he was such a good president and he did so many great things. <laughs> and they never do the follow-up question, which is, what? what are these? <laughs> you know, what? <laughs> the man did nothing. He did nothing. Uh, you're going to vote for him? Why? Oh, because he, uh, he really is a no-nonsense kind of guy. Really? Everything comes out of his mouth is nonsense. Nonsense. You know, I mean, it's just, and I, when I think about it, I say, you know, <clears throat> the human race to begin with is probably the master of their own extinction, okay? Yeah, and yeah. and uh, the voters of this country are going to be the architects of the death of democracy. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, if they vote for this guy, they're making a big Big mistake. Now, yeah. I, I like Nikki Haley. I think she's. I'm. I'm happy she's not leaving and giving in to Trump. Well, I'm not a fan of Nikki Haley. No, well, neither am I. But I would rather see her than Trump right. any day. <laughs> but I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If she became president, I could live with it. Yep. Same here. Okay. I mean, uh, I would rather you know, uh, and I'm. I really think Joe Biden has done a great disservice to. The Democrats. He shouldn't be running. He really shouldn't be running. If you yeah. let Gavin Newsom run right now, he would mop the floor with Trump. Okay? Plus, yeah. the public wouldn't have this complaint about, well, you know, uh, Biden's awfully old. That's that's the thing they try and put on him. So, yeah. you know, in, the, in today's uh, business news, it says many experts feared a recession. Instead, the economy's continued to soar. Yes. Yeah. Everybody wants to blame Biden when we're paying $6 for gas. Now it's down to 
three and a half or four. Yeah, but they also want to charge. They also want to say, well, you know, I go to the grocery store and those oh, groceries that, are that so expensive. expensive. And they're absolutely right. But that has nothing to do with Biden. Biden can't neither, do that. Neither does the gas prices. Doesn't have anything to do with Trump what it or is, Biden. What it is is people who price gouge, who saw an opportunity in all this word, all these words of of uh, you know inflation and things like that. Yep. So they just yep. say, you, you're complaining about inflation? We'll give you inflation. We can That's make right. money off your, your desire to have inflation. You know, so I, 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 it's amazing. Just, uh, it doesn't make yeah. any sense to me. But who am I? I'm you know, crazy. In, in major metropolitan areas where people have money, mm -hmm. uh, New York City, San Francisco, the Bay Area, whatever, um, people just pay the prices. And so, you well, know, no, but you say we pay the prices, but people, you know, during this economy, when they said that things have gotten bad, okay, yep. and things have gotten expensive and food costs are on the rise and so on. Everybody mm -hmm. who could take advantage of that has even down to these assholes who run these uh, streaming services. Yep. Uh, do you know how many of them have raised their rates? Every one. Every of them. last one. Yep. Mm -hmm. And do you know how many of those organizations have fired people at their companies? Mm -hmm. Almost every last one of them. I mean, yep. wh wh where are they coming from? They're just looking. They can't stand to make a small profit. They got to make a huge profit. Yep. And, I have no you know, problem with somebody making a profit. Just don't screw everybody in the process. Well, I mean, you know, I, come on. Do I really think? I look. Do you know? It just for grins, the top tier of Netflix, okay? What do you think it costs now? I mean, I'm paying 18, and that's not even the top. I get two it's, screens. It's not the yeah. top. It is it's not the top. Oh, it's a long ways from the top. Twenty-two yeah. ninety-five a month. Yeah. For what? Yeah, I mean, I don't you even know? want to pay 18. I'm paying it. I mean, for what? It's they're just taking advantage of things, you know. They could they could stand to make a little less money and keep people happy. Yep. Instead, they're I think they're pricing themselves right out of the business. I think they're going to find more and more people will be subscribing to services based on what they got on, watch what they got to watch, and then you cancel, cancel and go to the. That's other what I do. Well, it's like cancel you know, there's, football there's a competitor season. that somebody on the other show on Amy's show, Wayne, told me about Pluto TV. Yeah, I, got, I, I know. They have a lot of good stuff, and it's totally free. It's free. Yeah, but yeah. it's also got commercials, and it's not great stuff. Okay, it's well, really not great. The stuff. commercials don't bother me. So. Commercials do bother me. I want to pay for no commercials. I'm sorry, you know. Okay. The only one that I kind of like because I got it for free because I I have an Instacart subscription. And so I got a free Peacock subscription. Oh, I got the Peacock too. Yeah, boy, but, they're giving but, that to everybody. Oh, I got that through AT&T. That's how they stuck you in, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah. wait a minute, but wait a minute. I got that based on the fact that uh, I got that. And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I, now I forgot what I was going to say. And I we got were talking it. about cost. I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the, and I got it with commercials because the one they're going to give you for that pr amount of money, you know, give you as part of Instacart, is not going to be the one without commercials, right? That's right. Well, I go. It's got to be a pain in the ass, and then I start watching it, and most of the shows that have commercials have only two breaks in their one minute. Yeah, I can live with that. That yeah. I can live with. But, you know, the other stuff in like four minutes worth of commercials and stuff like that, and you, because they're really trying to force you to go buy the next tier, the one without the commercials. But, I mean, it's just, it's just mm. ridiculous what they're charging for stuff, you know? I have the cheapest tier of Netflix, and when a commercial pops up, I go in the room, get another cup of coffee. Oh, by the way, they're doing away with that tier. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, they're doing away yeah. with that commercial tier. Oh, yeah. I've read getting this cheap compared to what you guys are paying and and they're going to do away with it figures mm -hmm. but uh i i don't i don't want to watch shows with commercials i'll tell you why i'm going to admit something here come after me okay uh for the longest time years ago i i had cable and it started glitching and it started glitching and it started glitching and i called the cable company 
hundreds of times saying it glitches, it glitches, it glitches. Well, we'll send somebody out to see. And it still was glitching and glitching. So finally I decided, screw this. And I started, I learned out about torrents and I started downloading my favorite TV shows from the internet. And you watching them that way. It didn't glitch, right? Finally, it did come out one day and they found out the basement had water in it and that's where the the uh, wires were and the wires were wet and that's mm. why it was glitching all the time. But uh, during that time, I got used to getting my shows off the, uh, off the web. And uh, now that I do pay for them again because I have Netflix and I have uh, uh, Prime Video and so mm. on and so forth, I, I want them without commercials, you know? And it's worth it to me because... To begin with, it's always the same commercials. It's that goddamn woman with diabetes who's singing to a big <laughs> yeah. fat fuck standing there in a water fountain. You know which one I'm talking about, Charlie? Yep. Oh. I see it all the time. Guardians Nation. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yes, right. I can't stand that commercial. Mm. And, uh, you know, my, and I yell at the screen. Listen, you wouldn't have diabetes if you'd lose some weight. You know. Yeah, that's, that's not true. What do you mean it's not true? If I lose weight, I wouldn't have diabetes. I don't have diabetes. My A1C came in at 5.5, and I weigh over 300 pounds. I don't know so, what an A1C is even. I, I never have. Uh, it, it's a, it's a, it, you know how you take your blood? Every day, you know, as a, as a diabetic, you're not diabetic, but mm -hmm. you check your blood sugar, the highs and the lows, and keep it within a, a medium range mm -hmm. so you don't overdo it one way or the other. What what A1C does is it takes a snapshot of your highs and lows over a period of three months. It's a simple blood test. You don't need to fast for it or anything, and that's all it does. And it tells if you're heading so towards that. So with all your weight, you have never gotten diabetes, huh? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Well, this woman, I, this woman, my blood pressure. I mean, when I was in the doctor, yeah, but this woman does. This woman yeah. does. Yeah. Okay. okay. And she's singing about it. I mean, I don't know that she does. She's an actress, but right. Uh, and she manages it well. <laughs> <laughs> she manages what well, Kevin? Part of the damn song. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Diabetes well. She's yeah. coming off the fucking bus. Well, here's the other problem today with medicine, okay, is that there's a pill for everything. Rather than and they say, all have fucking songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, you know, talking about bad commercials, I don't mind bad commercials. As long as they, when they do a set of com a commercial for a particular product, they do a whole bunch of them that they rotate, <clears throat> and you don't have to put up with the same commercial over and over again. Like that one. But they don't do that. Mm -hmm. And the one that I don't like is, what's the insurance company with the Yeah, but they, they got rid of that one. They, they rolled that one out finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At yeah. least out here. They they rolled yeah. it out and now he's doing a different one, but it's over and over again. So the piano different. falling on them now. Now the piano. Yeah, the piano oh, yeah. No, but, but I'm saying oh, yeah. they 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 will put that one to sleep, but the other one was running forever. Now this one will run forever. Yeah. Yeah, but J Nation has been on for about a year now. <laughs> J Nation. Yeah, that chubby little lady that comes dancing off the bus. Oh, yeah. oh, J Nation. That thing's been on there for about six years, oh, it seems oh, like. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's been on a while. It's yeah. extraordinary. And they keep running it. And over. it's like every every other break. Yeah. Yep. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Your dog's talking to you, Tony. Probably the Jardians oh, lady. Yeah, the, your, your upstairs neighbor got a dog that <clears throat> talks. She's terrible. She's, She's just terrible. Like a parrot. I mean, I'm glad she got work, but come on, you know. I think she, didn't they say that she was from um, American Idol or The Voice or one of them shows, too? She's like a really? runner-up on one of those shows. But she too. does sing, yeah. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me get this. Straight. I don't even like talking about it. This woman <laughs> was on like, uh, I don't know, what, what, which one was it, do you know? 
Oh, I don't know what show. I don't yeah. know what show it was. Yeah. Maybe it was American Idol. I don't know. Oh, wow. But voice. I know she was on one of those shows, apparently. I mean, did somebody at, like, the diabetes drug company go, hey, get her. There's yeah, our exactly. spokesperson. <laughs> uh, you know, some people are overweight, and they carry their weight okay. Mm. She doesn't, you know. On purpose. Uh, on purpose, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, in order to have sex with her, you'd have to wait for her to pee and follow the stream. <laughs> you know, that's America. <laughs> that's an old one. They never get old, do they? <laughs> oh man, oh man. And uh, I mean, uh, I but they keep repeating these commercials over and over and over again. Uh, on the other hand, uh, because I have Hulu, that's my where I get all my TV shows from, yep. and my local stations and so mm. on. They run when they there's always a certain place where there's time for a local ad to run. What they run are these Hulu things, these Hulu cartoons. Hmm. And there must be hundreds of them. They're all different. I never come up on the same one twice in a day. Mm -hmm. And that's the way these companies should do it. You do a, a run of commercials, you do five of them, you know, and then you rotate them. And you can rotate them longer than you would rotate the other one, but you rotate them and people don't get sick and tired of them. But I hate to see who they replace uh, the fat woman. It ain't over <laughs> till the fat woman sings, by the way. <laughs> Just as long as it's not about Jardians. <laughs> yeah, so. Mm. so and anyway. it's working because we're sitting here talking about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I go on stuff that is no i don't have to pay for it you you pay for the month or something like that Bam pays for but it. there's no ads that's that's awesome you, you, yeah. you do you ever turn the tv on oh no but you have a choice you have a choice of commercials or no commercials yeah. you know i mean but i have all of mine without commercials <clears throat> uh uh, it's it's worth it to me to pay for no commercials. Yeah, you know? it, it is. they keep raising the rates. But they they raise yep. the rates on the on the on the one the ad supported versions too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm still paying five ninety five a month for my Netflix. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what do you get? You know. I get all kinds of stuff. I mean, I I, I can't I imagine the Crown with a commercial in it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know. Yeah, uh, and uh, that, that's why I splurged with Netflix and got without the commercials. Yeah, yeah. No wonder you're so broke, Charlie. No, but I've got I've got Netflix, which I pay for. I've got uh, uh, what do you call it? Max, which I don't have to pay for because I have it through uh, AT and T. I have a cheaper version, f which I don't pay for, uh, for Peacock. Let me see here. I have Prime because I have Prime. Although I'm having to pay oh, two ninety, right. I'm gonna have to pay two ninety nine a month now extra Why? to have it without commercials. That's the newest yeah. thing oh, that Amazon yeah. has done. They're all greedy. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, three dollars might not be bad for get rid of the. Commercials. I have Hulu. I have Disney. But the Hulu, I get Disney with the Hulu, and I get uh, ESPN Plus. With the with the Hulu, and then what else do I have? Uh, yeah, Prime, yeah, 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 Paramount Plus, uh, and Apple Plus, which I like both of them. I especially like uh, Apple Plus. It's kind of what in quality HBO used to be like, mm. and it's a real quality uh, uh, quality mm. of deal. So I don't know, you know, but. Uh, and some of us are so poor that we can only afford one. I mean, I'm not talking about me, but I'm talking... I don't watch much TV. How many here have more than, say, three streaming services? Really? Mm. You, I'm you, the only one. Ryan, wow. you sheepishly put your hand up. Oh, you I got about ten of them. Whoa. You say, you say five? Well, I'm not going, you know, I'm not going as far as uh, subscribing to AMC Plus. You know, oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm back. I'm the... early. I, I got a bunch of stuff. I don't even know what I have. Really? Oh, okay. You know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm just really uh, uh, sick of everybody raising their prices on everything and taking advantage of the fact that it's, people are saying, well, you know, the cost of everything has gone up. Well, the reason it's gone up is because the people who supply the goods <clears throat> have raised the prices on them because they say it, see a time when they can do it. Nobody will blame them for it because, hey, the prices are going up on everything. And that's bullshit. Really? And the government doesn't jump in and say, hey, you know, Mr. Banana Grower, you can't raise your prices. And they really should. Because Everybody there's no agree. reason why the price of goods at the grocery store shouldn't be coming down if the economy yeah. is getting as robust mm -hmm. as it's become. And that's it. Plain and simple. I made my case, folks. I have Everybody's greedy. What? Everybody's greedy. Yeah. What'd you say, Jeff? Greedy, greedy. Everybody. I have Hulu. You have Hulu. Yeah. Does anybody have that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hulu. Yeah. Yeah. Love Hulu. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's, it, it's just I'm, uh, it, it's just that everybody sees an opportunity to raise their prices and say, well, you know, things, the cost of everything is, you know, it's ridiculous, you know. It goes up. But there, when, let's say the economy goes bonkers, it really does great. It's really rebounding and the stock market is rich and unemployment is at an all-time low. Do you think any of these people are going to lower the price on bananas? They may not raise them at a certain point, but you think they're going to, you know, it's ridiculous. It's well, I think people just can't buy as, as many bananas as they, yeah. as they used to buy. Oh, really? Uh, I buy as yeah. many. I always have to have a stack of bananas in the house. But, you know, there's there's two of you in the, in the house. Yeah. You know, I've got kids, and they have grandkids, and, you know, sometimes there's four of us. Yeah. In the one place, and they're all hungry. Yeah. It's expensive. But Can all, you feed all, them bananas? By the way, does anybody know if that guy was executed tonight using yes. nitrogen? Yes. Did That's they kill him? Out. Did they kill him? I don't know. I didn't. I just saw a news flash that they. Yeah, they. They. Uh, 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 South. Is it South Carolina? I think it was Alabama. Oh, Alabama. 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 That was oh, it. Yeah. Uh, okay. They screwed up on a uh, on a on an execution last year. And I just wonder if they were using our gas. <laughs> yeah, they just said it. Yeah, they, yeah. It they, says the Alabama inmate Kenneth Smith was put to death in the first U.S. nitrogen gas execution. It's a cheap way to go. It's I, it is cost effective. Yeah, you can get it everywhere. Yeah, we used to make it. Isn't they? Aren't they just suffocating him? Really? Yeah, yeah they took the yeah. oxygen out of the area, out of the air, and you got nitrogen. That's why you get yeah. No. Yeah. So they, they literally smothered him to death. Why didn't they just yeah, put pretty a much suffocating? Yeah. I have an idea. Hypoxia. Why? Why, yes. did, why didn't they just put a pillow over his face? You know? Hey, pillow pillows. Yeah. A, new, a new thing for my pillow pillow. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. my pillow guy. Oh, that guy's been on the You get a free advertisement at the execution. Well, anyway, uh, uh, I'm Alex, and this is the uh, 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 citizen panel. Uh, and uh, I got to go. Uh, and thank you so much, Charlie, for being here. Always a pleasure. Uh, of course, uh, Alan, we'll look forward to seeing you on Amy's show where you will take up uh, as much oxygen on that show as you did on this one tonight. In fact, you probably should be used to execute people. Uh, uh, I can sit on them. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you very much. And thank you to, uh, to our good friend, Kevin. And Brian Neary, always a pleasure, Brian. Uh, Jeff, good to talk with you. And of course, there's uh, Tony uh, mourning the death of his dog just moments ago. Um, she's okay. <laughs> this program. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Coming up next, it's Amy uh, Manuel, and she's got a thing called the intersection. She'll be taking your calls at on Skype at GabNet Live. 
GabNet Live, G-A-B-N-E-T-L-I-V-E. And uh, we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Thanks.